Once upon a very, very long time ago, there had a ruler, a fairy king of questionable intent. On surface, they were nothing compared to the greater lords, but in reality, a cruel person who would discard anything and give anyone chance given. It would not matter were they a loyal subject, a friend, or even a person from their own family. Wearing their ebon cloak, they would sit by a throne of thorns, looking appealing and welcoming. However, no one would know until late. Under the ruling would live a very meager peasant of miserable conditions with an ordinary farm. Nothing about the peon could keep it out of just a mediocre, but he had the dreams to raise it from a mere and oppressed person to one of the king's servants and decided he took the journey to the giant palace in the woods, getting at his knees to put himself in a pathetic position and beg for a chance, even if it were as a simple servant who cleans and does chores. The fairy king was skeptical, even if somewhat welcoming, it obviously had no interest in fulfilling desires of a worthless nobody. Simply resting hand at his face, he felt displeased, and the more than clear, his stay was barely welcomed, and nothing more work to came until one of the loyal subjects took upon one himself to aid him. He went down to the men who were bowing and offered a hand. With open arms, it was the best welcome he could get. As time would pass, the men who once were a nobody started to raise in ranks. Just like in dreams, eventually gaining enough trust so he could reach among the greatest under the king. But as he gained power, some believed he gained an ego with a totally new face. And while all the other servants would soon start to notice how cruel the lord were, he never came to his mind. No matter how many were expelled, punished, or executed, every time he would stay by the master's side. When the day came, the servant welcomed him, became a target. Even there, he would not hold back in following the order. As always, a day he marched to the place. Like the loyal dog who never questions a command and simply follows through, the servant was ready to follow orders. Until the great king simply raised his arm in a strange gesture. No matter how much the man would beg and cry at his knees, the interest the king had over him was negative. You should be thankful I am not executing you one point, was what he heard before being banished. The massive, aptly crafted walls, exquisite outside, were his last view of the kingdom before he had to flee. No one truly knows what was his fate afterwards, and perhaps they simply did not care. Now, it seems he was a blur in history, a person no one knows or got to remember, as time would pass forever erased from everyone's memory.